day. What a cold, crisp, beautiful day. Hey there, little bird. How would you like to go to the doctor with me? I need moral support. Nah, you don't have a weight problem. Huh, I can't believe it. Me. All-star center on the basketball team at Truman S. Trudlow High. Overweight. I always thought that a game of catch with my son Billy on the weekend would keep me in trim. You know who it keeps in trim? Him! I always thought that saccharin in my coffee would stem the tide. But it doesn't, with a donut on the side. I'm not getting any younger, you know, so I better lose weight now. I guess this morning was really the clincher. finally gotten out of hand, so I'm going to see the doctor. Maybe he can show me how. And look at the gimmicks there in that store window. That's really what you call wishful shrinking. Like the books. How to be fat but look thin. The Royal Tibetan Lama diet. Calories count, calories don't. Calories will, calories won't. And the pills. And flab. Fat off. Instant thin, sudden slim. Flesh flatteners, tapering tablets. And those foods. Betty Bradley's butterless brownies. Pretty Pauline's protein pies. Fanny Freeman's fatless fudge. And Shirley Bruce's sugarless Charlotte Roses. No, they don't do the trick in the long run. I guess it's a matter of mind over platter. But the platter was stronger than the mind this morning. Yours will be ready in a minute, dear. Here it is. There it is. I'm going to be brave and stick to my breakfast of just black coffee. I'm breathing my teeth and suffering through this plain dry tongue. Away with rose, away with cream, be gone with jam, a pox on cake. You've got perseverance, bulldog tenacity. Not to mention strength of mind, determination, resolution. You're wonderful. I'm just an ordinary Joe. But I gotta be strong if I want to be the man I can be. I made up my mind, I gotta get back in my old size ten. I sure miss the Danish our baker can make. My mother just sent us this coffee cake. She did? Uh-huh. She baked it herself. Mm. And her with her arthritis and all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're starting our diet tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow is the time to do the things you couldn't possibly do today. They're starting their diet tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. How, how, how come tomorrow never seems to come? for the doctor. I've got about 15 minutes. Time for just one cup of coffee.
exactly 200 pounds Six feet tall For your frame and body type You're overweight It's a problem over which I seem to have no control Well, after a few more tests, we'll figure out what should be your weight goal Tell me, doctor, give it to me straight I can take it Is it... Is it... Is my problem glandular? No. Then it's got to be hereditary. In a way, you're right, but not quite in the way you think. I guess we've all inherited something just living here. From a pioneer life that was rugged and rough, a life that built a nation. We progressed, if you want to call it that, to a push-button civilization. A button for timing, for cleaning, for cutting, for pushing, for pulling, for washing, for drying. A very convenient life, Arthur, a very convenient life. A button for driving, for digging, for heating, for cooling, for mixing, for milking, for mowing. A very convenient life, Arthur, a very convenient life. You don't have to work till your body is numb. All you need is a good, strong thumb. A button brings candy or milk or soda pop or sandwiches, ice cream bars down the chute they drop. If you're bored, just push a button, then just sit and stare. If you're tired, just push a button on your lounging chair. It's a very complacent, convenient life. So when did this sedentary life set in? When did this going to pot begin? I guess it began on the day I was married, the day that I brought home my bride. The love and the warmth and the joy when I carried her over the threshold, the pride. It was not just the way that she looked, but oh doctor, the way that girl cooked. And her specialty? Hungarian goulash, such meat and potatoes and flour and honey and sugar tomatoes and gravy so thick you could chew it. I could hardly wait to get through it so I could have a second helping. Necessary fixture, and what gives the palate that final tickle is sopping up the gravy with some pumpernickel. A very tasty beginning, Arthur, but that's when it often starts. And when did you realize that things had gone too far? What was uh, the moment of truth? <laughs> the moment of truth? Well. We were out on the town with some friends of ours, and we ended up in this artist studio. You know the kind who do your caricature for a couple dollars. Well, my friends all said I ought to let him draw me. So I sit, and he draws, and he finishes, and he shows it to me. That's not me. Can't you see? That guy couldn't draw a simple tree. It's you, Arthur. It's you. It's true, Arthur. It's true. It's you, Arthur. It's you. It's true, Arthur. It's true. Impossible. I don't believe it. You're all against me. It's not me. But it was me. A little exaggerated. But me. Why can't it be as easy for me as it is for everyone else to lose. It's not easy for everyone else. The important thing is wanting to. And why do people want to? To 
look better, feel better, have your clothes look snappier, have more vigor, live longer to be a whole lot happier. A very important point, Arthur, a very important point. At first it's gonna be rough, but you gotta know when enough is enough. Refusing that second portion may be a strain, but your eating habits you're gonna have to completely retrain. A very important point, Arthur, a very important point. And then if this battle you're planning to win, you must be more active, more active than you've been. A very important point, so we'll set your weight goal and then begin. That's a very commanding, important point. Now let's see, blood pressure normal, heart normal, 180 pounds should be your goal, Arthur you should lose at least 20 pounds. And I can't overstress how important this is for your health. Too much weight puts a strain on your heart. The answer is diet and exercise. Exercise not just occasionally, but every day. Can you do it? Can you do it? Can you steal yourself and go through it? Thanks, doctor. We'll see. We'll see. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I steal myself and go through it? Can I? Can I? There's a character who's really got it made. What a life. You said a mouthful, Charlie. The name's Arthur. Happy to know you, Arthur. But you're right. I got it made. What a life. What a life. No struggle, no strain, and no strife. If I do any work, I might hurt myself. So I see that I never exert myself. Yes, brewing is doing just fine. So I'm fat, still I'm cute. I don't have to fit into no suit. Though most people my figure would not enchant Next to some that I look at, I'm Cary Grant Oh, Bruin is doing just fine Though my keepers just feed me once a day for food I never the kids feed me peanuts and cookies and candy And life is one long, beautiful snack Won't say no Eat my fill A bear ain't supposed to have will So allow me to make this suggestion to you if willpower and weight is your big bugaboo, just give up the fight and come live in the zoo. Cycling's the best exercise you've had. Well, now, let's look at the record for the day. At breakfast and lunchtime, I watched those calories really stayed on the ball. But the real test is coming, the test that determines whether I stand or I fall. If I can just Stick to it for dinner and forgo that midnight snack. 
I might wind up a winner with a ledger marked in black. And I'll smile when I hear that voice within me call. Not bad, Arthur, not bad. Not bad at all. Hi, honey, what's for dinner? What is that beautiful aroma? It's something special, dear, for Billy. And you can have a little, just a little, if you like. Hungarian goulash, all flavored with spices. It led to my downfall, it's one of my vices, but I must admit it's delicious. I'll be sparing, discreet, and judicious, and I'll just have a couple spoons full. Hey, Daddy! This goulash is scrumptious and yummy. You gotta admit that it's your taste. When you eat it, your eyes look most awful. Billy, if you're hungry, you can have another bowl. Boy, that's good. I've stayed on the ball today. Why not? Maybe if I just have half of my dessert, just this once won't hurt. Enough is enough, enough, take it away with the plan I planned, I plan to stay. For there's one thing now I know, it's so nice learning how to say no. I can hear my friends now, after I've stuck to this thing for a while, and they see the new me. I can just hear them. They'll be singing a different tune. Arthur, have you lost weight? Why, Arthur? What have you done to yourself? Arthur, would you be available for my next film? There's a marvelous part for a thin man. You sleek, gorgeous panther, you. Where have you been hiding? Arthur, Arthur, we'd like you to run for mayor. You've got just the figure for it. Please, boy, come back to Truman S. Fredlow High. The basketball team needs you.